Buffalo at linebacker. Talk about going out and getting those numbers up. How important that was. Well, it was important. Um, you know, we, we initially, um, you know, we initially did not plan on have, taking that many, but what became apparent was when we looked at best available guys after that early signing period was that several there were some linebackers out there that um, were good and could help us and improve our, our team as a whole. And so even though we might not have originally planned as going quite as heavy as we did, we um, it was pretty easy to warm up to that idea when we saw the quality of players that we had a chance to get. And, you know, we had a um, – we, we wanted to improve kind of the framework uh, body type-wise of the guys in our room, and we were able to accomplish that. We, you know, definitely always place a premium on fast and physical guys. And uh, so we found some really good body types. You know, uh, there's some guys in there that will grow and develop from a strength and, and uh, f- you know, physically – uh, from that standpoint during their time here. But, uh, you know, you can't coach 6'3", you can't coach 6'4", and you can't coach, you know, great wingspan and tackle radius, and those are things that we wanted to recruit, and so we were fortunate enough to do that. Uh, but that, that group of guys, I love their makeup in terms of character, the type of people they are. Uh, they come from great families, and I really think that um, – I really think we – uh, got some really, really good football players that are really, really good people in that room. You look very familiar with Jerry Jacobs. Uh, obviously, uh, how did that you know, what kind of players are excited there? So Jerry, uh, Jerry played for us at Hutch. Um, he redshirted a year and played a year. Um, really, really talented young man. You know, he, he's a guy that played safety initially for us and then ended up playing corner. Uh, went to Arkansas State, had a really good uh, first year there with them and then got hurt, of course, this last year. Um, Had done really well academically both at Hutch and Arkansas State and was able to graduate in December. And uh, but in terms of the type of player he is, you know, Jerry's very versatile. He's got great man cover skills, uh, very physical. Uh, He's a really strong kid. And when you you know, kind of look at his body type, see how he's put together. Um, he is really lean, heavy muscled guy, um, really high hipped and, and uh, very athletic build. Uh, but he's a physical kid too. He, he, he embraces that, uh, the, the tackling part of playing DB, you know, and not all guys do, but he really does. And he, he again has really, really good cover skills. Corner or safety here? Do you know yet? You know, um, we we don't know for sure yet. That's the short answer to that. But we feel like that he can do a lot of things. And so wherever we put him, in, uh, you know, on the depth chart, we we do understand that we're gonna you know try to utilize his talents as as a physical tackler and a cover guy. How much are you counting on that maybe a change of scenery will do Levi some good at linebacker? You know, uh, Levi dealt with uh, a coaching change, um, at least one that I know of at, at Oklahoma, a position coach and coordinator. I uh, think they might have even had three coordinators while he was there. And that, that's always challenging. You know, I mean, it just is. You, you have um, a, a guy that recruited you. He recruited you. He knew you well. He um, did his homework. He had a good idea of what your skill set was and how that would fit and what they were doing defensively. And then things change. And that and that makes it tough. So, you know, sometimes guys can get lost in the shuffle of a coaching change. And, and I think that might have had uh, – might have been a factor for Levi. And so, back to your original question, I would say a change of scenery does him really well. And he's going to get to play for the guys that recruited him here. And I think there's a lot of value to that. Go back to a comment Coach made yesterday about your recruiting and how you didn't have to be a Division One head coach to, to see that you uh, did a great job in the first real two on this level. You know, I'm um, thankful uh, for an opportunity to be here and, and uh, 
the, the best division of college football in the country. Um, and so I don't want to discount that at all. But uh, I've been in some really competitive recruiting situations in my career and and uh, feel like, you know, we've always had a pretty good ability to close on guys. And um, I think the secret to that is when you find guys that are your type of guys, you know, from a character standpoint, obviously you've evaluated the film and, and you wouldn't be in front of them if they weren't good enough as a player. But when you when you find that type of guy, it's easy to build a bond with them. It's easy to, um, you know, get to know them. And, and I think relationships can escalate quickly whenever you find your type of guy. And so I, I think that has a lot to do with it. And, you know, we were fortunate to, to find those type of guys, you know, JT Towers, Ja'Cory Turner, Eric Thomas Jr., Levi Draper, you know, those were – those were guys that it didn't take me a lot of time to figure out. They're, they're our type of guys. They're Arkansas guys. What type of guys do you look for? You, you mentioned a little bit 6'3", six, 6'4", six, kind of ideal linebacker spots. What are you kind of looking for? You? you know, I don't like to put a number on it. I would give you a range, you know, of of 6'1", you know, to 6'4", somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, wingspan is big because it affects tackle radius. And so that's a big deal to me. Um, Closing speed is always a huge thing that I look at. Uh, and there's really two categories of that, tight closing speed and long closing speed. How well do they cover the field? How well do they cover the box? And then, you know, learning football intelligence, you could do that pretty quick. You know, you sit down with them and just have them talk to you about what they've done in the past. So those are all things that, that we're looking for. You know, you have to um, – uh, most of the time, at least, you have to project the the weight and the size and the and the mass portion of it. But if you got a great frame, you know, and uh, let's say you got a guy that's six three and he's got nice wide shoulders, you can project that guy to add some weight. You know, we we have an unbelievable strength staff here, and we believe that they can do some of those things. You know, developing that physical body. So, uh, frame to me is big. Because you just can't coach that part of it, you know, and it matters a lot of times on Saturday. Now you take a guy like Keelan Burrell; um, he's a little bit shorter, extremely fast though, and so you know, it's there's a little bit of give and take. You know, you have a mindset of what you want physically, but you're you got to always be willing to bend a little bit if a guy's extremely good in another area. Like for Keelan, his ability to run and close um, kind of trumped uh, his height. I think last chance you always kind of skew on Hollywood and junior, junior college season. What are the positives that you've seen of kids making that uh, move there and then going on to Well, there are a lot of great junior college programs out there that, you know, do things the right way and are definitely not what you see on TV, you know, that, that run real highly organized, highly structured programs. You know, junior college um, gives guys who don't qualify academically a second chance, you know, and, and it gives uh, guys that might have been late bloomers and got missed a little bit in the recruiting process a second chance. And I, I would tell you, you know, there's an unbelievable number of incredible players play at that level. But I will tell you it's hard, you know. It is – it's – um, a lot of times it's it's tough because uh, they're not always on full scholarship, you know. Uh, so sometimes money is a struggle. Uh, the accommodations and the resources that they have aren't always the best, you know. Sometimes they're uh, a lot of times, as a matter of fact, they're in really small towns, and so all of that makes it tough. And so, the, really, the way I view it is if a young man makes it through junior college, you know they're tough, you know they've got some perseverance, and you know they're adaptable because they've, they've been down a tougher road than a young man that comes directly to the university out of high school. You know, um, it is. You know, I mean, there there are some different challenges for, like me as a coach, 
uh, one of the major challenges I always faced was turnover. Not just players, you know that's part of it, but with staff, you know, my philosophy was I was always going to hire um, upward bound coaches. And so uh, an example of that would be I uh, had an O-line coach in 2018 that was with me for about seven months. As soon as the season was over, he got hired by the Arizona Cardinals as an assistant O-line coach. So, you, hire, you, you know, I always wanted to hire great guys knowing that I might not have them very long. But I would tell you that wears on you, you know, constantly having to replace your staff because there's just so, there's so much trickle-down effect from that in recruiting and in developing chemistry in your room. So uh, they're, they're definitely our big, you know, some big challenges. I feel like I was a little bit in a unique situation at Hutch from a resource standpoint. We had great academic resources. There was, a, there was a really good financial support from our uh, community of supporters and the school. And so I was – a little, you know, Hutch is a little bit of a unicorn in that way, so I had it better than some. But uh, the resources here, facilities, and all that, obviously, are phenomenal. And and uh, man, I'm I'm thankful to be here. It's just, you know, I did it for a long time, 14 years as a head coach at and uh, 13 at Hutch and one at Fort Scott. And so the timing of it all for my family too is phenomenal. You know, my youngest is a senior in high school, so. Uh, it's just great in so many ways. <coughs> well, Coach Pittman and I go way back. Um, he recruited me out of high school, and uh, I, you know, I signed to play with him at Hutch, and and uh, he got an opportunity to leave after a year, so. Um, he was only my coach for one year, but the bond that we built during that time was special. And so have been in touch with him over all these years. And he's been a huge part of my life ever since he was my coach. And uh, kind of like a second dad to me, you know. And um, he and Jamie have really taken in our entire family, my wife and my kids. And, and uh, so that part of it's really special. Um, I've hoped for a lot of years that he would have a chance to be a head coach at this level because I knew how good he could be at it. You know, he's such a great people person. Um, he's such an encourager. He's such a genuine guy, you know, and, and so I knew he would be great at that. I did not know Coach Odom at all. I think I'd shaken his hand a time or two, but it took me about three hours sitting beside him at, at – at the staff table to know that um, it was that was going to be awesome, you know that number one he's a great guy, um, but he's uh, you know having to, gotten to spend some more time with him now. You know I'm excited about the type of defensive mind he has, and you know I've I've been calling the defense where I've been for the last 18 years, and so having an opportunity to really expand. My knowledge base with a guy like Barry Odom, I mean, that's a rare opportunity that a guy gets to – I get to be with him every day. I mean, it's awesome. And he and his wife, Tia, and their kids, I mean, they're just – they're awesome. They're great people. You know, I had I had uh, investigated, I guess would be the best way to say it, some opportunities at different times. Um, when, when, when my daughter graduated from high school, I thought that was maybe a good window for us to, to maybe make a move as a family. And, and so um, nothing ever seemed to be right, though. You know, I, I did have some opportunities to, to go other places, but... <clears throat> I had a good job, you know, and I recognized that. And so I wasn't just going to leave for anything. And that's why this was a dream job for me, you know, because I, I get to work for a great man who um, just does things the right way, you know. He's been a mentor of mine for all these years. That part of it's great in the best conference in college football and one of the best places to live in the world, you know, in northwest Arkansas. So it just... Man, it's, I, I can't tell you enough how 
big of a deal it is and how complete of an opportunity it is for me. It's like there there are no drawbacks other than we have a lot of great friends in Hutch that we, you know, won't get to see every day, but they'll still be a big part of our life. So it's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. Yeah, that's such a such an awesome room of guys. Um, great people, um, guys that have um, the, the guys that have played. I've been able to watch them, you know. So I feel like I have a really good idea of what they bring to the table. Um, but what I've been able to gain since I've been around them more, and even over the Christmas break after I got hired, I talked to them a lot on the phone and got to know them a little bit but they're they're unbelievable guys that all they want to do is work hard be great teammates and win you know and they've you know I think they've appreciated our relational approach Um, we've been around them as much as we possibly can they've enjoyed that a lot I think that was maybe a little bit different than what they were used to and so it's been great you know I mean I um, I might get some arguments from other guys on staff, but I feel like I got an unbelievable room, uh, not only of guys that can play, but guys that are fun to be around and guys that can lead our football team.